Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the ER proximity sensor and also we are going to create a project. The project is a smart gate that opens and closes automatically and also we are going to write the code. Now let's start. Now we are going to use an IR sensor. This is an IR sensor. There are four pins in the IR sensor. The first pin is VCC, the second pin is ground, and the third pin is digital pin, and the fourth pin is analog pin. And this is a potentiometer. And this light blue color one transmits the IR signal. And this black color one receives the IR signal. And also I am going to use an Arduino board and three jump wires, male to female. We normally use the IR sensor for identifying the object in front of it or identifying the colors. Now I'm going to take the three jumpers and connect them to the IR sensor. Now I'm going to take the orange jumper and connect it to the VCC. Then I am going to take the yellow jumper and connect it to the ground. Now I'm going to take the green jumper and connect it to the digital pin. Now I'm going to take the orange jumper and connect it to the power to ECC in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the yellow jumper and connect it to the ground in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the green jumper and connect it to the 8 pin in my Arduino board. Now let's write the code. Now I am writing in the void setup the pin mode. Now I am writing pin mode 8 input because it is an input. Now I am writing serial.begin 9600. Now I am writing in the void loop serial.print ln digital read. 8 that means read 8 now I'm gonna upload it uploading uploading is done no errors now I am gonna open the serial monitor when the IR sensor is going on the black line the value is gonna turn into 1 when the IR sensor is going on the white color one the value is gonna turn into 0 Now we are going to move to the next project. This project is same as the previous project. In addition, I am going to take a black jump wire and connect it to the ground in my Arduino board. Then I am going to take the other side of the jump wire and connect it to the cathode side of the breadboard. Now I am going to take the green LED bulb and connect it to the breadboard. Now I'm going to take the red LED bulb and connect it to the breadboard. Now I'm going to take the orange jumper and connect it to the another side of the LED bulb. Then I'm going to take the other side of the jumper and connect it to the 9th pin in my Arduino board. Then I'm going to take the green jumper and connect it to the another side of the green LED bulb. Then I am going to take the other side of the jumper and connect it to the 10 pin in my Arduino board. Now let's write the code. 
This is same as the previous code. In addition, I am writing pin mode 9 output because it is an output. Then I am writing pin mode 10 output because it is an output. Then in the void loop, I am commenting this line. Now I am writing an if condition in the void loop. In the brackets, I am writing digital read 8, that means read the 8 pin. The returning value is low, then I am writing digital write. Ten pin high. That means turn on the green light. Then I am writing digital write nine pin low. That means turn off the red light. Otherwise, then I am writing. Digital write 10 pin low, then digital write 9 pin high. That means turn off the green light, then turn on the red light. Now I'm gonna upload it. Uploading, uploading is done, no errors. Now you can see when it's on the black line, the red LED bulb turn on. When it's not on the black line, the green LED bulb turn on. Now let's move to the next project. Now you can see the wiring diagram. You can click in the link in the description below to download the code and the wiring diagram. This project is same as the first project. In addition, I am using another IR sensor and a servo motor and lots of jump wires. Now I am going to take three jump wires male to female. Then I am going to take the female side and connect it to the IR sensor. Now I'm going to take the male side of the jump wires and connect them to the Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the green jump wire and connect it to the ground in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the yellow jump wire and connect it to the 8 pin in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take three jump wires male to female then I'm going to take the female side of the jump wires and connect them to the IR sensor. Now I'm going to take the male side of the jump wires and connect them to my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the brown jump wire and connect it to the ground in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the orange jumper and connect it to the 9 pin in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take 3 jumpers male to male and connect them to my servo motor. Now I'm going to take the other side of the jump wires and connect them to my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the orange jump wire and connect it to the ground in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the yellow jump wire and connect it to the 10th pin in my Arduino board.
Now I'm going to take the red jump wire that has been connected to lots of jump wires and connect them to the firewall PCC in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the two IR sensors and connect them to the firewall PCC in my Arduino board. And also I'm going to take the firewall PCC from the server motor and connect them to the firewall PCC in my Arduino board. Now I take the hot glue gun and put some hot glue on the servo motor. Then I paste it on the table. Then I take the two IR sensors and put some hot glue on those two. Then paste it on the right side and the left side. Now this is my gate, it is made out of paper, now I'm gonna fix it to the servo motor. Now here you can see I am using masking tape for identifying the rod. Now let's write the code. Now I'm gonna include the server library. Now you can click in the link in the description below to watch how to include the server library. Now I'm gonna create an object. The object's name is my server. Now I am writing int left ir9. Now I am writing int right ir8. Now I am writing int left side 0. Now I am writing int right side 0. Now I am writing int gate open 20. All variables are integer. Now I am writing in the void setup the pin mode. Now I am writing pin mode left IR input because it is an input. Now I am writing pin mode right IR input because it is an input. Now I am writing my server.attach 10. That means I have connected the server to the 10th pin. Now I am writing my server.write 100. That means close the gate. Now I 
Now I am writing in the void loop a if condition. Now I am checking left IR sensor value equal to the low and left side variable is equal to zero. Then I am changing the left side variable to one. Now I am writing another if condition. Now I am checking right side variable is equal to zero. Then I am writing my server dot write in the brackets gate open. It means I am open in the gate. Now I am writing another if condition. Now I am checking right IR sensor value equal to low and right side variable is equal to zero. Then I am changing right side variable to one. Now I am writing another if condition. Now I am checking left side variable is equal to zero. Then I am writing my server dot write in the brackets gate open. It means I am open in the gate. Now I am writing another if condition. Now I am checking left side variable is equal to one. And right side variable is equal to one. Then I am putting a delay for one second, and I am writing my server dot write hundred. That means close the gate. Now I change the both variables to zero. Now I'm gonna upload it. Uploading. Uploading is done. No errors. Now let's see how does it work. Now you can see when the car is coming from the right side, the gate will open. When the car passes the left side sensor, the gate will close. When the car is coming from the left side. The gate will open. When the car is passing the right side sensor, the gate will close. I hope this video will help you to get an idea about the IR proximity sensor. If you like this video, please support my channel. It really really does help. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.